everybody, welcome to today's... <laughs> <laughs> welcome can, welcome to today's birthday party because tomorrow is my birthday it's my birthday we're gonna party like it's my birthday and so today we're gonna still do a giveaway um and you know what today we'll just do the same 25 dollar give jewel tool gift card away today to a lucky winner so you guys i'm so excited for today so let me wait for some people to trickle on in on today's show so if you want to enter for the drawing you need to hashtag i love my jewel tool and you will get entered into the drawing to win 25 dollar gift card so today's show you guys i will be finishing the hammer so on Wednesday's show, yeah, Wednesday's show, we took a regular hammer that I bought from Harbor Freight, the $2 hammer, okay, and we created a dome because what we wanted to do is create a Fretz hammer dupe. So we were successful in creating the dome and polishing it, and it does actually look like the Fretz hammer dome. What happened to the Fretz hammer? I don't know what happened to it. That's a good one. I have this other one. It'll turn up. So you guys, you're, where's, the other, where's the Fred's hammer? Do you see it? So look at everybody who's here. Let me say hello. Yara, can you slide up so I can see everyone's names? So hi, everybody. Hey, Anna. Hi, Anne. Hi, Kathy Party. Hi, Holly Fleming. Hi, Laverle. Hi, Dawn. Hello, Carrie Hendrick. Hello, Diane Molly. Hello, Carol. And uh, who else do we got? Yaro, can you slide some more? And we've got Bonnie. Bonnie is in the house. We've got everybody. We've got Bobby Stewart. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, Diana Schnetzka. Today is going to be a fun show, and we are about to turn this baby into a texturizing hammer. So we're going to do the texture of the raw silk. But first, so you guys, uh, in the house, girlfriend, in the house. Okay, so you guys, uh, so that's that. So if you want to see how we created this hammer into a dome, watch Wednesday's show. So basically, if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me show you what I mean. Hey, where is that Fred's hammer, Yaro? Okay, are you sure? You, oh, here it is, buried under my jewel tool disc. So look, you guys. So what we wanted to do is, so the hammer is originally flat. When you get it, it looks nasty and it's just flat. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to create a like a, a like a shallow dome, similar to Fretz's. You guys see that? It's kind of hard to see that they're domed because it's such a shallow dome, but they both have this amazing, um, nice dome now. Well, this one does. So we actually created some pretty textures um, using this hammer. And so we made this. Do you guys remember making this? Pretty, 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 huh? So this was the side we polished, and this was the side we didn't polish, but we used a polished hammer. So it makes all the difference in the world so shiny i can't even get a good you guys see that pattern so this was what we did with this little sucker so that kind of copies the frets so but we what we want to do today you guys is i want to create this hold on let me show you so i want to recreate the frets raw silk pattern do you guys see it so it's kind of it's not a basket weave if you will it's kind of like random, randomized basket weave, if you will. So, you, you know, it's never going to be identical to theirs, which is kind of cool because you can create your own texture and no one will have one that is exact, which is pretty darn cool. So let's see how that works, you guys. You know what I mean? You can even do a hammer, like 
if you want you can even do like a portion of it textured and hit it on that side and leave the other side shiny you can do whatever you want this is your two dollar hammer my friends so that's what we did and oh my god so you guys our diamonds are in the house so these are our flat top discs by the way you guys see that so the other day i showed them and so slowly and surely the diamonds are all trickling on in you have oh so yeah so this is let me diamonds diamonds baby diamonds so these are going to be slowly introduced so they will work with our grs collab sharpening for your graver system and they also work for, let me show you real quick. It's pretty cool. So you can adjust the speed, which is cool. You know, you can go fast, you can go slow. But what's cool is, oh, yeah, it runs. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, let me show them what it does. So let me first put some water. Water. So I'm just going to put some water and look, you guys. I got the vacuum and it sucks it with the vacuum so nothing's flying up. Oh, it's nice. And check that out. What side am I on? This one? Look at how nice and even and flat that got. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. And then even if you have something that's really nasty like this, you know, it's not flat at all. It's just a rough piece of quartz. And you want to flatten it up it's so cool you guys see that oh this is a chunky monkey one let's see how that turned oh my god look at how nice and flat that got so cool yeah so this is great when you're you know working with rough and you really don't need much precision or you just want to do something nice and flat this is really cool. Look at that. Wow. Talk about cutting like butter. Like butter. And then you just go a little bit more and we'll get there. But I'm not doing so today's demo is not that. It just happened to be uh, a little surprise gift that arrived today. And you guys check out my new background. Dara, go back more. I can't see. Oh, can you see it? I can't see because you have a oh, because you had the oh, so you guys. For my birthday, my kids, and Yaro included, surprised me with the neon sign in the background. What do you guys think of it? It's a, I really had wanted one of these for Jewel Tool. They're not exactly cheap, apparently. That's what I heard. I don't know how much, but I know that they're not cheap. And so, you guys, they custom made this for me for my birthday. How awesome is that? So I totally loved it. Um, so who else is here? Hey, Albert. Hey, D. Marie. Hey, Maxine. Hey, you guys. Hey, Bob. Bob Riddle. How you doing? You like my sign? Thank you. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Karen Anderson. Uh, hey, Diane, Molly. Oh, and Laura. Hello, Laura. Okay, you guys. So let's get started on the... Oh, I also had a special delivery right before we went on air. That's why I was a little late because I wanted to thank you guys for your birthday wishes. You guys, it's tomorrow. It's my birthday. We're going to party like it's my birthday. We got party like it's my birthday. Okay. So you guys, calm yourself, Annie. Calm yourself. Okay. Look what I got, you guys. I really didn't really take a peek. I kind of felt. So I got something extremely special from, let's read it together. It says, happy birthday, Auntie Ani. Now you have your, oh my goodness. Okay, okay. Here we go. Happy, let me, let me read accordingly. Happy, happy day of birth to the original polishing queen. <laughs> These are from Nicole Ritchie and her beautiful, gorgeous little daughter, Beans. Enjoy your day. We love you from Nicole and Beans. And then she also, let's just read them as we go. So this... They already did the job of removing this. What's in here? Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Beans, you're so cute. Well, who will crown me the polishing queen? Does it fit? Oh, it's a little tight. Does it fit? Does it look right? Well, let me 
shove it in my hair. Hold on. I don't want to flying off while the polishing queen is polishing. Hey, this looks cute. I now pronounce you all polishing queens and kings, <laughs> princes and princesses. How about that? <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Thank you. Let's cover the sides. Make myself look good. What do you guys think? And then wait, there's more. Okay. So what is this? What is this? <laughs> Nicole and Beans, you guys are too cute. What is this? Oh my God. What does this say? Wait, wait. <laughs> I always do this. Same with my raffle. Birthday queen. Oh my God. How cute is this? So what do you do? Just go like this and I just wave. Okay. Just take a picture and I'll take it off after. Hold on. Oh, here, take a picture. But let's take a picture. Hold on. Let me get this. Yeah. Okay, so I don't know how to clip this. Hold on. Okay, so there. Let's take a picture. Okay, I'll post it. So with the birthday, it's your birthday. We're the birthday queen. Hello, everybody. It's a little off. Should I just stand like this so it shows birthday queen? It is? Okay. Okay. So how cute is this? People are going to tune in and go, who does that Ani think she is? <laughs> Putting a crown, wearing a sash. Aw, thank you, Yaro. Yaro says everyone deserves to feel like this on their birthday. It does make you feel special. And then this is what, oh, oh my God, you guys. Look at what, oh, how cute is a tank top? <gasps> oh my God, it's a Wonder Woman tank top. How Okay, now let me read this. Okay. Happy birthday, Auntie Ani. Now you have your own Wonder Woman shirt to go kick everyone's butt with. Love me, beans from the car. Aw, thank you. I love you. Thank you so much. This is so sweet. I'm so touched and honored. Thank you so much. I will so wear this. I'm a tank top kind of girl. So I could, I will totally be rocking this. And it's really cute. It has like a little pinching thing in the back. Very cute. Thank you. You know my style. I'm official now. I love you guys. You are the best at posing. You know, you guys, when you pose. Oh, that is so sweet, Amber. She said, happy, happy existiversary to you, Ani. That is so sweet. Where is this? Okay. So that is, so yeah, you know, you guys, when you pose, you don't stand straight here. Yeah, let's do a little teaching because people, my sisters have all copied my picture pose and all my friends. So when you pose, you guys don't just stand there and smile like this. That's not good. You kind of, what you, it's not a passport photo, right? Yeah. So when you pose like to have your body look good, you tilt. See how, hold on, let's get rid of this for a sec. You see how it changes from straight to this, you know? And then I always like kick a little foot out so that extends your leg. You can't see it, but you get the idea. And then instead of just standing there with your arms, you got to do something. You got to do like a power pose. So, you know, do something. Put your hand on your hip, you know, hold the other one low if you don't want to look too pronounced, you know, but do something or go like this, put your hair you know, put your hair back like this. It's kind of cute. Look into oblivion. Those are also the best pictures, you know. You know, those pictures, they love that. But for the most part, you know, and when you got your pose down, take a look at the camera and go, give your cutest look or that look that you give like a cute guy you like. That's the look you have to give when you take a picture. Okay, enough of my uh, picture. <laughs> Tom says... Oh, I'm 39 today. Yes, I am. Damn right. 
They, yeah, I know. Price is no object. So, um, so let's get started with, so everyone do hashtag I love my jewel tool. So Yara will include you in the $25 gift card drawing that will draw towards the end of the show. Please be present. We're just going to, so what we're going to do today is we're just going to create the design on the hammer. What, what did Bonnie see? Sm I, oh, those eyes. Yeah, that small, that's, mm, yeah, you know what I mean? You got to give that look. The, you know, the eyes say a lot. And so when you take a picture and you say something with your eyes, it really does transfer into the picture. Believe it or not, I'll think of something really good when I take a picture. You know, and sometimes the best pictures are if I think of Yara or I think of Jolie, <laughs> you know what I mean? You just got to have something in your head when taking that picture. Because, you know, when someone looks at you and you know what they're saying with their eyes, the same goes for when you take a picture. The eyes transfer, you can see what the person is thinking. That's why you feel more drawn to pictures. So, you know, all that stuff. Okay, I'll stop. All right, let's get started. Hello, Louise. Hello, Rita. All right, guys. Hi, Nancy. Let's get it going. You know, there was a pin that flew out of this, by the way. I lost it. Okay, so I'm going to do my show. So we're going to we're going to sit down. This should be the subject of the next sip and shine. Oh, right, Amber. I know. Let's just pray that my beautiful Francesca comes back to us safely. That's all I want. Oh, yeah. So today's giveaway is not the $100 or $125, technically, uh, giveaway. This is just my Friday giveaway, you guys. So the big away is on the 25th. The big away. Damn right. The big away is on the 25th. So the, so the $100 gift card is in. Uh, I won't be here next Friday, so it's going to be the following Friday. Yeah, thank you. Okay, good. So let me park my butt. Oh, here's the pin. There you go. I knew I saw a pin. Hold on. I knew there was a pin. I saw it and then it disappeared. And I'm like, where the hell did that pin go? Let's put this on. Because my beans gave it to me for crying out loud. Let me pin the sucker. How cool. They give you a pin? Well, isn't that, cool? isn't that convenient? It's a kit. I love kits. Hi, Suni. Hello, hello. Okay, so let's get started. Now, you tell me any jeweler that does what I'm about to do with all of this uh, on me. But you know what? I love you all, and I love my beans, and I'm wearing this. Hi, Nicole. Nicole, look at me. Thank you, Nicole, and thank you, Beans, from the bottom of my heart. I'm so touched. And thank you all for tuning in. Okay, what a groovy sign. I mean, so cool. You like it? Yeah, so this is my birthday gift from my kids in Yarrow. There you go. I didn't get my 10-carat diamond ring, but I got this, so I'm happier, actually, with this. So there. Okay. Yep, we're going to do the bench. Oh, shoot. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to cut this um, part of my... Um, so you guys, you want to learn sawing techniques with Ani? So you always say good position, keep it straight. Whenever you want to make a little turn, you got to keep the movement going. So if you're going to turn, it's got to be a gradual turn. If not, the blade will snap and break. I'm doing this because I want a little bit more of a groove in my tongue because I realized that this honker is not enough groove. Usually I would use this only for um, working on, uh, oh, something, oh, there's metal in there. Working on, uh, wow, there's something hard in there. Do you guys hear it? The noise changed. There's something in there that's hard. Wow, it really is hard. I hit, a, I hit something in there. Yeah, so now I'm working my way that way. Oh, the the, <laughs> the saw blade's a little old, you guys. 
Oh yeah, a little on the oldie side. No, I'm just gonna keep going. Yeah, I mean, so, but do you guys see, you guys can't stop. You know, a lot of the times when you break it, it's because you pivoted, you moved when you weren't in motion. Um, and it goes, bink, you know, it happens. It's gonna happen either way. But right now my blade is like on its last leg. I think this blade that I have on here is probably 30 years old. I, and I'm not joking. These have been on here for a long time, sitting there in my drawer. Okay, maybe 20 years old. Thanks, Yarrow. So we're almost done. Yeah, my blade's dying. Hold on. See, this is when you break a blade, when you get impatient. So just, just be patient, breathe, deep breaths, just keep it going. And so when you want to ever pull it out, and if you feel that you can't pull it out, you know, you usually got to keep a motion and pull it out. Do you guys see how I pulled out that curve? You do, oh, you see that? Without breaking it. Let's just do another one. Oh, this is even more dull. <laughs> so I'm just going to hit it from this side just a little, you guys. Oh, yeah, it's a little fresher. And just kind of call it a day. There we go. So it's always important to turn. When you turn, you got to move. You can't just force it. You force the saw blade, the saw blade is going to yell at you. And so, oh, there it is. And there, wow, what a clean little cut we did there. Thank you, Ani. Very nice. And if this tongue was out, I would shape it with my jewel tool. But because the tongue is not out, I have to use a file. I know. Wah, wah, wah. It's okay. Just on my rasp. This is my, actually, this is a, this is a, um, a wax a rasp. It's not even a real. So now you see, this is what I wanted. I wanted somewhere to hold. Earlier it was slipping, you know what I mean? It wasn't holding. So this will give me some stability and hold it. And these are kind of cool, you guys. If you guys are like working on a ring and you need to hold it, I would actually, mine kind of got a little dull. Look, I would always do this, look. I create this little groove, this little notch here. Look, do you see this? Hold on, let me show you guys a bench pin. So when you do this, hold on. Give me a second, you guys. Okay, hold on. There. So like if you had a ring, for example, and you need to hold it there, this is a great grabber. You guys see how it kind of grabs? And you can, you know, put, put textures on, but it won't slip. This is my technique I used to use all the time. All the time. Do you guys see that? Can you show, show angles, Yaro? Yeah. So do you guys see how... It's, it's, I can push on it and it won't slide off instead of me holding and pinching with my hands. You know, you, you create this like little groove. So it's got to be a little bit sharper under here. Like a wooden thumb sticking out. Yeah. Right. Yarrow. This is not the great, I don't have any more files to be honest with you. This is like old. I don't even want to use a file. Can you tell I'm like against the file? I'm like, oh, I'm repulsed by the file. I've had such memories of. Who else works on the bench like this? I think all jewelers should dress like this. You know, I always defied what a jeweler should look like. I really did. People would come into my dad's uh, factory and I was polishing and my hands were clean and I looked cute and I had my hair and everything. And they're like, you totally don't look like you've been working here all day. I'm like, well, you don't have to look like a grease monkey. I did everything in my power to not look like a grease monkey. However, I did still get like black up in my nose, even though my dad had an amazing polishing system with an amazing dust collector. Okay, so let's get started. So first things first, I'm going to grab a marker. That's true. Darn right. Why would you need a file if you have a jewel tool? If you don't have a jewel tool, I'm looking for the hammer. Here we go. Okay. So as you guys saw, we had this hammer. Oh, I'm sorry. Real quick, you guys, someone asked me to show them this. So yesterday, 
not yesterday before. Sorry, you guys, I wasn't able to be on yesterday. So they wanted to see what a hammer texture would look like if you didn't polish it versus the polished texture. So let me show that real quick. I have two blanks here, right, Yara? I can actually move it under the camera. Where am I? Uh-huh. That's good. That's fine. Okay. So what I have here, you guys, is two, two blanks. Do you guys see that? Two blanks. So two blanks, okay? So I'll hit one with the one that is not polished. Yara, you want to film this? Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Here you go. You got all the, you got a video, you got sawdust on. Okay. So I'm just going to take this. You can come closer, Yara. No? What? Yeah, vertical. Uh-huh. Oh, shoot, that didn't work. So it gives you a lot of matte texture. Okay, so this is the texture you get. It's kind of cool with, um, with a, what's it called, a shiny background. That's kind of cool. But if you don't want a shiny background, this is not your friend. Okay, so do you guys see that? Wait, where am I? There. So it's kind of cool, you guys, if it's the background shiny because it gives you, hold on, it's really shiny here. It kind of gives you a matte texture. You guys see that? It's kind of cool, you know? I'll do some light ones so you guys can see. So this is what it looks like here. Let's show you. There. It's kind of cool, you know, if you want. So if you have a rough texture, you can get a rough texture finish. So now let's say that I want to hammer this, right? Okay. So with the shiny hammer, the shiny hammer, we can put all sorts of cool textures I don't even know what I'm doing, you guys. All I know is I, I'm just texturing. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, there we go. And so now you have a polished piece. You guys see that? How you have a polished, oh, where am I? Let's keep it by the block right here. So do you guys see how it's it's way oh wow it's pretty it's pretty sexy. Yeah, you guys see how I did the texture. The cam the lights are really really powerful here. But do you guys see it's really pretty. It's like pretty impressive when you look at it. You're like, how the hell did you do that? Pretty, huh? What do you guys think of this texture? So this is with the polished hammer. And then if you don't have a polished hammer, you get this finish, which is kind of cool. So if you, but you've got to have a polished background for it to look. Yeah, I did whack it using the edge. Yeah, no, if I, yeah, it's not. If I had just used it flat, there would be no special excitement. I did use the edge. Thank you, Yara, for noticing. That was my little special technique. But Yara blew the, the technique out of the water right there. Okay, so I want both. <laughs> Bobby says, I want both. I love it, Bobby. Cool texture, very cool. So that is the difference. Yeah, like let's say if we did this too. You guys, hold on. Actually, Yara, can I have my phone? Mm -hmm. Uh. Yeah, I just want a quick look before I, I want to score it real quick because this is just do a quick little video like this. Hold on. Okay, go ahead. Just do a quick little site oh, on top. Yeah. There. Cool. There you go. Perfect. Okay, so like let's say this is the caca hammer. 
And let's say that I want to put a cool texture. So let me grab like my heavy duty grinding, uh, the chocolate. And if you want to put even cooler textures, like even without cleaning it, look, you guys can put like cool textures on it. You guys see that? So you can put even just quick, cool textures on your hammer uh, with the jewel tool. You know, take that, guys. I don't even know what I'm doing, but you guys get the idea, huh? You guys see that? You guys see that? I just put a, I put random, random acts of... <laughs> random acts of of grind you guys see that so let's see what this looks like actually hold on now i'm intrigued give me a second you guys i gotta get another blank where they where to get that where to get those blanks from i need more one second sorry guys this is welcome to the ani show things happen on the fly listen i'm here to just show you guys what's up so let's go ahead Oh, actually, I don't have an. I don't have one to show later. Let me just polish. Let me just polish this ugly thing up real quick. Honestly, on the jewel tool, things happen really quick. Give me a second. I got my sash here. Excuse me, people. Hold on. Let me just polish this up because the idea is we want to polish background with a uh, with satin kind of. Right, you like that, right? Random act of grindness, huh? Thank you, Sherry, for picking up on my weird isms. Oh, here we go. I used the 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 extra extra course. This is a, the one of the chocolate. Wow, look at that! This is one of the chocolate diamonds. I mean, chocolate, chocolate. Sorry, I can't chocolate not chocolate diamonds the chocolate heavy duty grinding uh wheels they come in can you show the grates why are you here oh okay there we go we got a nice shiny 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 hello hello okay that's good enough and then let's prepare this one. Wow, I totally didn't, I totally forgot that to prepare one for my, I'm, I'm sorry, I should have prepared this ahead of time. Well, you get a double show. You get to watch me polish blanks because they're never clean and, but look at that shine, people. Woo, 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 woo. This is just with the jewel tool compound and the felt wheel. Now this. Oh, who said that? Melanie. Hi, Melanie. You're so cute. Okay, so let's do the whole thing. So I'm going to use this one for the raw silk pattern. Bill probably watches my videos and laughs. I just want you guys to know. That's Bill for you. Bill will be like, that crazy Ani. I told you how much I love Bill Fretz, right? You guys all know. This. So there. I just gave it a quick little polish. There's still some weird pits here. Like you can take your, you know, very fine scratch eraser and get rid of them. If you want and be lazy like me, just hold it a few seconds and get those darn uh, little pits out. Remember, it's a flat polishing wheel. You can do whatever you want with this. Hold on. I'm being very, uh, trying to be very, so there, the pits are pretty much gone. Do you guys see that? There, see the pits? There's still a little left and that's fine. I don't care. So, let me wipe this sucker down. 
with my polishing cloth because these polishing cloths are great you guys because when you want to wipe a polished surface what's great is it'll aid to your polishing instead of aiding to scratches do you know what i mean it'll remove even stuff that you missed but without adding any additional scratches does that make sense like look do you guys see that i just did this quick you know, I can polish it for everybody. The pink, I don't know where my pink one is. I'll just use this real quick. Real quick. There we go. Whoa. Ho, ho, ho. Hi, David. Welcome to the Ani Show, where crazy things can happen. Just warning you. Giving you a heads up, buttercup. Oh my heavens. Let me get my fingers out of the way and we've got that shine. Do you guys see that? If, if anything, my big fat fingers are in the way of everything. It's all I try to avoid. So this is good enough for what we're doing, you guys. Not the most perfect, but for what I want to do, it's perfection. Do you know what I mean? Just a quick little zhuzh. And get my fat fingers out of the way. There we go. And there we go. Okay. So now we're going to use. So I used the extra, extra coarse chocolate um, heavy duty grinding uh, wheels. These are awesome. So these are when, when we did the texture, you guys, of. You guys remember the textures we made? Is that one? Whatever. I can't find it. Here. These. Nope. I can't find Oh, this texture. Remember when we did this? bracelet and we put these cool textures on this is just thrown in there this is what we use we used the extra extra coarse heavy duty grinding so now what i'm going to do you guys is i'm going to hammer this one let me clean it first i'm gonna hammer it with the one that we just put the random acts of grinding the the random acts of grindness. You know, what do you want? It's a $2 hammer. Okay, $2.99. Okay, let's talk straight. I'm, I'm going to be here. Yeah. So now this is the one that we polished. And I'll save this one for the raw silk pattern. So this one we just polished. Yeah, you can do this. Mm -hmm. So this is the random act of grinding. <laughs> what have I done? I'm telling you guys, there's no rules. So right here. And we just go, let's just hold, let me put my finger here. I mean, you can put a little piece of tape, you guys. Um, you can use my 3M tape, but right now. Okay, hold on. Yeah, there's actually some metal under here. Let me grind this off. This is why it's not sitting flat. There's some solder here. Great. Oh, could you imagine me taking a file and having to do this? Bite me. Look at this, baby. Goodbye. And see you later, solder. Suck it. Okay, there we go. Come back, Yara. Now we're even, Steven. Now we're even and we're not flopping around. Ugh, you guys. Having the jewel tool is so handy dandy, let me tell you. Okay, so let's do this again. So you guys see that? Okay, so here we go. Here we go now. Am I in the shot? Yeah, here we go. I have no idea what I'm doing. You guys probably can do things that are better. Oh, looks cool. Oh, how cool. Let me get my ugly fingers out of the way. Okay, I don't want to do it too much because I want the shine. Oh, my God. Wow. How cool is this texture? Can't get a light reflection on it, Yara. Can, can you hold it somewhere else? No, okay, so let me look at the feed. You guys see that? You guys see this pattern? Look, your move. There you go. 
You guys see that? See this. You are this shot. I want this shot. You see how the shine's hitting it? What do you guys think of this pattern? I, I find this so unique, you guys. I don't know how to explain it. Now, it, it's definitely, I would say, oh, it's definitely a $60 hammer. Thank you, Madri. Okay, I need, I need feedback, you guys. What do you think? So let me show it overhead too, Yarrow, to get a different glimpse of the shine. You guys see that? It's so a forty-five dollar hemp. I missed a little spot up there. Maybe I should whack it. Hold on. There, there. Problem solved. What do you guys think? It looks very dimensional, huh? Really cool. I like it. I think it's unique. You know, so look, you guys. This is an alternative pattern, you guys, to doing something where giving it yourself, you know, that contrast. So that's why a lot of people always go to patina to bring a contrast, you know what I mean? But here's a play on textures. There's the background is shiny and the front forward has all sorts of, you know, what do they call it? The foreground, yeah. It's fabulous textured hammer worth big bucks. Worth big bucks, right, Sony? So there, almost like a nugget of gold ore, yes. It does look like a nugget. I just find it unique. Yara, look, just zoom in so they can see. Like, in the real light, you guys, it's very unique. You guys see it? I don't know how to explain it. I've never seen this texture before. So, so you know, you guys, having different textures really can separate you and create, like, a different shape of this. Oh, my God. I think it's really unique. I, I'm digging this texture. So this is just to inspire you to grab a $2 hammer and you have your own unique texture. Put your little signature on it and say, fine, that's my own signature texture. Yep, you guys don't have one. I do. <laughs> Put a design patent on it. Oh, yeah. Uh, more to buy, of course. It, it, I meant copper. Wait, I'm, I'm lost. It does look like copper or whatever, you guys. It's just, but it's finished. So I have a big problem with doing something with textures and it looks like it's still bad. Like, you know, it's not finished. This is finished. Yeah, it's, it's really hard to kind of see it, you guys. This is kind of what it looks like. Take a look at this. Can I raise it closer? So I see this a lot. This is kind of what I see a lot. It's, it's very dimensional, very unique. Definitely not something you'd seen. So a lot of jewelers always ask me for texture, always. Doesn't that contrast become pretty cool? It's a finished contrast. It doesn't look dirty. Yes, you can create something no one else has, right? Heidi, hi, Heidi. Moon craters, honest to God, Whatever is cool. And you know, you never know. A texture, you guys are saying moon craters, it's remembering golden nugget, whatever. You know, you just don't know what that texture will spark in someone's uh, emotions. Do you know what I mean? What if, you know, someone has, you know, has an affinity to moons or their ex, you know, another ex, their lover loves moons or is excited over it and it reminds them of that. Or well said something, uh, what is it? 3D, what else? Geographic map, like anything. So you see everyone looks at a painting and an abstract painting and everyone has their own take on it. But you never know if your textures are going to speak to someone's emotions. And you know, jewelry 
is based on emotion. Someone who's going to buy or love your jewelry, it's all about emotion. So you have to always remember this, you guys. When you create something, what are you going to spark in the person looking at it? And even if you're making it just for your own personal, you know, to wear and not worried about selling, but you still want people to admire it and notice it and compliment it. I, you know, let's be real. We do. We, everyone likes that, you know, confirmation that they did something right. You just want something that'll stand out. You want something that will, you know, catch someone's eye and how you catch someone's eye is you just spark something in them emotionally. You like that? Okay. All right. That's enough. I don't know where this stuff is coming from. You guys just spewing out of me left and right. Okay. Uh, Diana Shneska says, I watched someone on IG modifying a file today. All I could think was, You'd be done by now if you had a jewel tool. I love you, Di Diana. You have no idea how much I've said this to. But it's funny because I can't say anything to them because then they'll be like, oh, she's trying to sell her jewel tool. But I'm just like wanting them to know that there's something better. You know what I mean? It just happens to be something that I created. <laughs> But it is something better. If I didn't want something better, I wouldn't have created something better. And if there wasn't a need for something better, I wouldn't have created something better. So there. Okay, Yara, watch out. She's on a roll. Tom, it's the crown. It's getting to me. Okay, you guys, let's let's start doing the hammer for crying out loud. Listen, this was a good video because people asked about this, Yara. Look at the three different textures we have here now. Look. Just real quick, just to just to wrap this up, all the different textures we did. You see that? Wait, there goes my camera feed. I don't I don't see anything. We do? Okay, so that's a shiny one. So pretty. I love this one. This one totally sparks. It'll spark anything in anybody. Even guys would love this. So then you have my whatever you want to call her. My sexy nugget. I think she's a little sexy in my opinion. Then we have this random of whatever. It's kind of cool, but I kind of like this one too. Yeah. So there. All right. Done. So now. So the flat top is going to be available on all of them. I think I have the XX course on the one. Right, Yaro? I think, I, yeah, this is the XX course. The one that's on here is XX course. So these will be available in all grades. It will be. So soon. Hang in there, guys. Yaro's dying to put them up on the website, and they probably will be up soon. Um, on either. God, Tom, you love that number 39, don't you? You know what? It's not about the number. It's how you feel. It's how you feel, how you look, all of that. So I wouldn't trade being 20 at all. I was not the smartest, you know, box of crayon, uh, crayon in the box back then. One th and not sharpest. I was going to say whatever. Brightest. Brightest. Not sharp. It's always sharp. Brightest. Sometimes I wonder about myself. Do it, Yara. Put them up. I love it. I just, I'm going to do my hammer. Oh, here it is. Here you are, oh, trusty hammer. So here we go. You guys see this? Okay, we're on overhead. Isn't that nice? Yarrow gave me an overhead. And I got a mark on there. I can see a hi. Hello. Okay, well, let me look. Hi. Hello. Yep. Uh-huh. Jewel Tool makes mirrored hammers. If you need one and you're short of a mirror, my friends, get a Jewel Tool. Okay, so what I'm going to do, you guys, is try to replicate the, um, the raw silk. Now, it's not going to be exact. So yeah, actually, Yara, can you film? Actually, I want to look at it too. So this is kind of like what we want to do. Let me show you guys. Hold on. Let me get it. Let me get my face ID. Oh, it doesn't like my face today. Maybe because I'm wearing a crown. Okay. So wait, wrong one. Where is it? Oh, here it is. So this is what I want to replicate you guys. Do you see that? Okay. Is that good? Okay. Yeah. So it's kind of random. So I don't even know what I'm going to do. Okay, here we go. All right, Yarrow, go ahead, videotape. 
so now that I have a little spot for this to hold on to, you see that? You can zoom in a little bit. Yeah? Okay. Yara's adjusting the camera. Dun, 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 dun. Keep that. However, D, you guys want to see what D did? D took this, uh, this, this, this old rusty hammer. Old rusty hammer. Look what she did. Hold, would you work with me? Oh, run, those are the. Oh, never mind. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta go back. One second. So she made this cool pattern on one side, and then she. Whoop. She did this on another. Aren't these cool, you guys? You know what those other ones were? Hold on, let me show you guys something. So these were earrings, you guys, made of resin. You see that? Okay, guess how much they're selling these suckers for? I thought I would have to show you. Uh-huh, yep, $165. Isn't that crazy, you guys? So that's why I screenshot that to show you. So, oh, can I have the picture real quick? Yeah, I need to, I need the picture of the hammer. So give me a second. Hold on. Give me one second, y'all. I got to do a visual picture of the hammer. So this, I need a picture. So this is actually Asi Guy. Okay. Uh -huh. There's also this one. This is, uh, the, I don't know which one is which. So this is also the frets. So I don't know. He has a few that are like this. So let's try to do this one. This kind of looks cool. I kind of like this one. They say this is the raw silk too of Fretz's. Well, it's this is the raw silk one. I, this is Fretz's hammer. There you go. Oh, all right. So let me try to remember that. Let me try to draw it real quick. So we have. Oh, that's a good idea, Yaro. Okay, so I'm just gonna draw some random stuff. I have no idea what we're doing, really. Honest to God, you guys. You guys see what I'm doing? Can you can you guys see that? Just random lines here and there. Let's see what happens. Let's kind of cross over. I really am doing, like, I'm trying to copy what he did. That's a good idea. This look like a bunch of crosses, y'all. You're absolutely right. It really does crosses. The what? Should I do some the other way? He doesn't do anything the other way. Should I do it the other way, you guys? What do you think? No, stop and do it again. And I'm going to just hit some little spots here and there. You know, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it. Oh, okay, like this. Okay, we'll get creative as we go. Okay, so pretty much this is what I've created. Okay, there you go. You guys see that? I have no idea if this is going to look good. I have not done this before. Disclaimer. Oh, yeah, I need a flex shaft. Oops. So you guys, you see this? What do you guys think of this pattern? So this is the one that I pulled up on Rio's page. Oh, sorry. You guys see that? Are we are we on the right track here? Kind of. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Give me feedback, you guys. This is the moment. You guys, this is... I can wipe this off and start over. Give me feedback. You know how my shows are. They're all interactive, girlfriends and boyfriends. The blessed hammer. Oh, Suni, you're so cute. 
Hi, Jacques. Mwah. Bachi. Yes, looks like pigs. It does, right? Okay. So this is basically the raw silk pattern. Like this will be the frets dupe, if you will. Go for it. Thanks, Diane. Diane, I needed that. Good job, Diane. Go for it. Do it. All right, let's do this. Let me grab my flex shaft because it's over here. Oh, I was looking for this one bit. Well, there it is. Hold on, guys. All right, let's put this here. Okay, so you just pop this on. When you get a new, when you get a new, um, what do you call this? <laughs> flex shaft. This is not ever um, uh, threaded because it's got to meet, it's got to match. This and this have to be mated for life. So when you put it on the first time, you have to pinch down here really hard and then twist this as hard as you can because you are creating the threads into this. And that's how it goes. Does that make sense, Yaro? All right. Finally, we need a key. They cleaned that. Oh, here it is. It's right here. Yeah, I got it. It's right here. Okay, so let me go ahead. So what I'm going to use, I'm going to use my cutting wheels. Oh, God, this sounds so good. I'm going to use my cutting wheels. And what I'm talking about are these. You guys see these? Now, these will cut hard metals. Hard Okay. Okay. So I'll stay here. Tighten it. Good. Make sure it's tight and good. So this is when you want to wear safety glasses, you guys. So I'm going to put some on. Get some safety glasses because these, these are known to break. I'm going to let you guys know. These are known to break. Okay. So if you have them and you're using them, wear some eye protection. That's all. Okay. So we're going to do this. We got this going. So I'm going to run this at full speed, you guys. Okay. Get a good position and start going to town. Let's, let's do one cut. So hold it. Get a nice footing on it. And then gradually move the hammer. Try not to move the flex shaft as much. Kind of you move the hammer. Are you guys with me? You guys see what I did? You guys see that? So, oh, why didn't you? Okay, then here. Go like this. Okay, so hold on. Let me start off. There you go, right there. Okay, we're going to keep going. Let's see what a side looks like. Hold on. That's kind of cool. I like these random ones. Not a perfect cross. We're not going for perfect. We want a unique shape. You know what I mean? There we go. Let me put one down here or up here. Let's do one up here. So it's so much fun. Just make sure you guys got some protection, you guys. There you go. Wow, this is cool. Totally digging this. Let's keep going. Yeah, I'm going to actually do a sharp one here. Do you guys see that? There. Yes, you can use the save your hands. To be honest with you, the save your hands would be perfect because what I'm... Oh, shit. I slipped. Words. I slipped because you were talking to me and I was going to show you and I kept my hand on this. It's okay. We can always fix that with the jewel tool. Okay. So you guys, if I put this on a save your hands. So basically what I was telling you guys here, no, just basically what I was saying is 
you know how I'm kind of keeping this stable and moving the hammer. So on the save your hands, you guys, that's what it would be. It would be, this would be stable and you would just hold this up against it. Do you guys know what I mean? I'll try it. Let me just keep going because not everyone has that. And I don't want people to say, well, she's doing things that I don't have. There we go. Oh, it's looking cool. Let's keep going. So once you start, don't move. Create a nice, like a deep gouge in it, and then gradually move the hammer. Okay, I will. Yeah, you just got to hold it there more and let it do its thing. Yeah. We got that. So let me do the the wide one longer hold on or deeper or wider so if you want something wider you guys just hold it and kind of like kind of move it up and down a little watch how this one will be a little wider ready yeah but if you want the whole wider watch how you do it so you can't really manipulate this wheel you can't force it. So you got to gently let it grind and then move. Do you guys see how I did that one? And let's keep going. So once you create a nice little spot, let it dig in there pretty deep and then gradually move. You guys see that? And then roll it back. Roll it in. Roll it back. Roll it in. No pressure. These will break. They are zero flexibility, you guys. Zero. When I say zero, I mean zero flexibility. There we go. Let's go ahead. Wow, look at that one. You see that? That's pretty cool. I'm going to wipe it down and we'll see what we've accomplished. So are you guys liking this so far? I'm kind of working on the edge, to, I mean, on the, the rounded area too, you guys, because, because sometimes you want to work on that edge just a little in certain areas. So it would behoove you to create more, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, Fretz's doesn't come off to the edge. Look, you guys, if you look. His does not come off on the edge. It's just flat. So I want to be able to create texture using the edge because that's pretty. Then, then you get another kind of dimensional look. Yaro says even a higher quality finish. So you guys see, try to be stable, you guys. And I'm telling you, yeah, the save your hands will be so much easier. Really. Honestly, it would be easier on your arms and on your back. There we go. That came out good. Oh, well, that's very nice. So let me wipe this just real quick, the powder. So far, I, I like what I see. You guys, I'm going to keep going. Yeah, more usable. So, you know, you got, but you got to understand. Oh, shoot. But you got to understand, you know, Fritz, he's manufacturing these, you guys. It's hard to do, you know, all of that custom work on, you know, a production run. 
So you might want to even modify your Fred's hammers. That's not a bad idea, you guys, to modify a hammer, you guys. What do you think of that? I'm going to put a double line on this one. Or should I or not? I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Like, what if you have already... Who has a Fred's texturizing hammer? Who has one? Anybody? Like, you can modify even the one you have to kind of change it up a bit to be more unique, you know, that is like yours. has a whole set wow girlfriend aren't you lucky oh shoot i slipped i'm trying to work now i know why fritz doesn't do the edges it's a little complicated guess what well if i screw up i can fix it on the jewel tool ha ha it's just, you know, to be honest with you, it's the hand. You guys, I'm not used to only working solely on my left hand anymore. So my left hand is kind of getting a little tired, to uh, be honest with you. Yes. Okay. So this is what I heard about Fretz's hammers. Some of the impressions get smushed i've been reading this a lot you guys people complain about this a lot that they're not not that they're deep after a while they kind of lose its impression so some of like the, that waffle pattern lost some of the waffle sharpness so it might behoove you to make them deeper or bring them back to life So we're almost done, you guys. Hang in there with me. You know I don't do things half. I'm going to do this whole hammer. I like them deep, too, to be honest with you. Yeah, texturing hammers are cool, but look, you guys, modify yours. You know what I mean? Why do you have to have everything, I, you know, like what everyone else has? Then your texture is going to look like everyone else's, and someone, you're going to post it and go, oh, is that the blah, blah, blah texturing hammer? And you're going to be like, yeah. You know, so you're not that unique. God, my left hand is really getting tired, Yarl. I'll be honest with you. I'm so tempted to do this on the Savior hands. I'm not joking, you guys. Yeah, ouch. My left hand. You guys, my left hand is really hurting. Like, I don't use this. I don't work like this that much. It's just a lot of strain. My hand is cramping up. I'm not joking. Yeah, I'm going to use, I'm going to switch over to save your hands, to be honest with you. Only because, look, you guys, this, or let me just take a break. Because, like, look, you guys, I have to keep this here. And granted, I did create a groove, so it's sitting here, but I got to keep this stable. Like, you can't move. Do you know what I mean? So this, so what's happening is, this is kind of being the stable one, and I'm moving this. You guys you see what I'm talking about? So this is what's happening. This is staying stable and I'm moving this. So basically, the, if this was locked in, I'd be having a save your hands moment. Do you know what I mean? And then all I just do is like this. So yeah, Ugh, I'll just continue. Let's not waste time. Suck it up, buttercup. Suck it up. Let me get my glasses. Suck it up, buttercup. You got this, Ani. I'm putting on my glasses just so I make sure I'm safe because you don't know what could happen to this sucker. 
So we can go over and make things deeper, but I think they're pretty deep. Like, hold on. I think we're almost done. I can always add more, you guys. So the, you can always err on the side of caution. Who? Yeah, I know. So we're almost done. Let's just see what this is going to look like. We can always modify and add things later, you guys. If you don't like what it's coming out like, you know what I mean? Or if you feel like you need a little bit more crisscross pattern, you know what I mean? You can always add it later. I love you, Suni. Suni, I'm doing this for people who say, I can't get it. And I'm like, okay, so I'm doing this because I love my people. And there you go. Let's do one more. I think I have a cross here. I don't know what I have. And, you know, as you use these cutting wheels, you guys, they get smaller. So if anything, I actually have a few because I like some of the smaller ones and then I like some of the larger ones for slicing. So just so you know. So if it gets small, save it because they're handy. You see how I'm not really moving? That's a nice deep one right there. Let's do a cross pattern right there. Oh, you guys, thank you so much for watching. It means so much to me. Okay, we're almost there. You guys are so cute. I love you. So let's hit, let's do something down here on that on that curve. I wonder what this pattern is going to look like. Is this a pretty pattern? I hope it is. I'm going to send the picture to Fred, uh, to Bill. When I'm done, I'm going to text him. And he's going to be like, what the world did you do, Ani? He's so funny, I swear. If you guys haven't met Bill, he's the sweetest guy, I think, on earth. Except Yaro. You are, Yaro. You're very sweet. You do. You try. You're better than me. You guys, you don't understand how satisfying this is and how empowering it is. I feel, and you know why? Because it didn't take much. It was fun, you know, to make it. If it, if it took, you guys see how I'm using this and it holds it? This is what I mean. Always modify your, um, your tongues to grip things. To keep these lasting is precision. You really, really, what should I do here? So do you guys see, you guys find one spot and don't move until it creates like a deep groove. Once it creates a nice deep groove, then move gently. Move the hammer and rock it, roll it slowly. The secret is slow. Slow and steady definitely wins the race here. See that? Okay, so let's do another crisscross right there. Wow, look at the sparks go, you guys. Wow, this one, this area has a lot of sparks. We're getting a deep hole there. Yeah. So listen, if we wanted to make some of these crosses deeper, I got I'm just gonna do one more area here and we're done. If I wanted to make these crosses deeper, like the crisscross, just go over it one more time and shift it over like a centimeter. You know what I mean? A millimeter. There we go. And one more, and this is the last one, you guys.
Oh my God, D, you should. I love it. She's like, I'm doing more this weekend after hitting my garage sales. So before I make, hold on, look, you guys. So before I make, hold on, let me wipe this down. Let me get rid of some of the, um, what do you call it? The, the Sharpie marks. Before I make, before I do any other modifications, hold on. Before I do any modifications, you guys, let's, let's test this baby. You know what I mean? So do you guys see it? Looks pretty cool, huh? Let's compare it to Mr. Fritz. Oh, not not bad, guys. Now I can modify this however I feel like. Do you guys see this? Pretty cool, huh? So let's see what this looks like. Okay. We can always modify it. Do you guys hear me? We can always modify it, but you never know. So it's best to err on the side of, well, I was going to say, you know how I say more is more, less is a bore, Bonnie? This time, more is more it doesn't apply because it might just be perfect. So let's see. So now we test and you'll see if the grooves are deep enough, if the pattern is enough, or you might need to add some more pattern. I have never done this before, just so you know. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab the one that I polished earlier. Yar, you want to do this? Okay. Can we do a little fake one that I just did this and show it and then film? Just give me a second, you guys. Yeah, I'm just gonna, because uh, you were you were manning the camera. So let me go ahead and just grind one more, like one more groove. You can go overhead. Let me just grind one more groove so that at least we have it in on the video. Ready? One second. Real quick, you guys, let me do one more groove because I don't think Yarl videotaped it. Hold on. Let me do a groove right here. I'll just go a straight one right here. Perfect. Okay, cool. So we added one more groove because Yara sat down and didn't have. <laughs> okay, so here we go, you guys. So this is, so this is the one we just made. I think it's pretty cool, but I have no idea what it's going to look like. But if you did notice, I put more on the side. So let's see what happens. Ready? Huh? Okay. Oh yeah. Should thank you, Yara, for that. Let's see this. Oh, there it goes. Oh, wow, it's pretty. Oh, there it goes. I'm trying to keep them aligned. Okay, let's see what it looks like now. Let's stop while we're ahead. Oh, how pretty is this texture? You guys see that? Where is this? What do you guys think of this texture? You, you think less wax? Okay, let me do a little less wax here. Okay, so I did less wax down here. Yaro suggested less wax. Wow. Oh my God, I love it. What do you guys think? Let me show it on the overhead. Hold on, let's show. Ow, hold on. She did? I want to give it a little. I'm going to put, let me hit it with this real quick. One second, guys. Let's just hit it with this because I, I got some marks on it. 
when it flipped over just kind of give it a little zhuzh kind of kick up the rough oh yeah oh yeah so much better so do you guys see this pattern we can do another one so that it also changes when you um like depends on how hard you hit it so this is the look what do you guys think Oh, well, I don't know. I was using the edge too. We can do one flat. Okay, hold on, Yarrow. One second. Yes, let's find it one more. Hold on, one second. Where's my blank? What? While I'm here, let's do one more whack happened to I got bless it I have it in my hand and then it disappears no 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 it was just a tree with all my little um doodads in it oh here they are <laughs> here they are again you guys I always keep losing this what is wrong with me Yarl says I don't know man Yarl be nice to me what Yarl Hold on. What? We're choosing. Which one should we do? Let's do a floor de lis. Let's polish this floor de lis. <laughs> floor de lis. That's all I have right now. Oh my God, y'all, this is all I have. Okay, y'all don't have any more. You want to make one for me? There's a disc cutter right there. Yara's not happy with me. No, I'm not the happy. I'm not the happy. Oh, here. I found something. I found something. We got something round. Here you go, people. Okay, let's polish this baby. Polish it, baby. However, I think when I slipped... It's creating a groove somewhere. I think this one is rough. I think I slipped on one of these. I can't tell. It looks so darn shiny. I really can't tell. Yeah, I'm going to polish it just one more because I think I slipped here, but not in the center. We're going to focus more on the center, so I'll just leave it. Okay, let's polish real quick. Get felt wheel. Yes, we want our pieces to be unique. Listen, what I make and what you make, there's never going to be the identical one. So your piece will be unique if you create it. I'm kind of this is for demonstrational use only, you guys. I'm teaching you guys what you can do. All right? That's the deal. Okay, so let me go overhead, Yarrow. Let me polish this baby dual tool compound. Let's go for it. You know, I really need a, a, a clamp. A clamp would be perfect. No, I have. I have. Oh, here they are. Thank you, Yarrow. Oh, a, a clamp. The, the clamps are awesome, you guys. If you have them, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, thank you, a clamp. Oh, thank you, clamp. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. It's not very it's not very even. You know why it's not even? They started to press it at the show. I don't know how I ended up with it, but that's what I got. There we go. Let so I'm going to unclamp it and then flip it around and do the other side. See that? They're really nice. Really aids you on, you know, holding it. There you go. You still have to hold it, you know, and support it with your finger, but it's nice. It allows you to do the, it, it pinches it for you, if you will. Do you know what I mean? It's like having a third hand, a third strong hand, I would say. Let me get that nice and even. 
And there we go, people. There we go. That should do it. What's the extra texture, Bonnie? Is it? Uh, it looks a little matte. Honestly, his his didn't look very shiny. I'm gonna show it to you guys one more time. Okay, so I went ahead and polished this. You guys see that real quick? You to get so these are called rub marks. To get the rub marks off, just use a buff. Use any buff you want. Use a cotton. Use your pink. Use your yellow magic. Whatever your heart desires. I'll grab this. Everyone seems to have one of those. Just give my and just go like this real quick. Just a quick little zhuzh, and those rub marks are gone, baby. There we go. Let me get my little fat fingers out of the way. And oh, there we go. Let's just ignore that. There. There. Okay, I didn't do the most perfect job, but you guys get the idea. You guys have seen perfection from me many, many times. This one is not. But some people, man, some people will show this stuff off and go, oh, look how beautifully polished it is. And I'm like, mm, mm, could be better. But everyone is trying at their own rate. But with the jewel tool, either way, you'll get flat. I, I You know what I mean? Not so blah, 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 wavy. So let me show the texture. Oh. Okay, so this is, which one is this one? This is the one on Rio's side. It's $62. This one says raw silk. That's a four. So basically they textured this. Oh, that would have been fun too. So they textured one of these. Look. Where am I? So they textured, you te they textured one of these. Oh, that would be fun, you guys. Yeah. So it's kind of rough. If you look at mine versus that, mine is shiny. We did a shiny finish. That one is very, very rough. Now, you can do something like that, Bonnie. Yeah, it will come out a little matte. Really pretty, though, when the material is highly polished first. Interesting. Huh. Should I put more? Let me put more pattern. What do you guys think? Should I put more? Oh, so Yaro says, well, this is, well, this, he has, this one is considered the raw silk. Listen, if you wanted like a more satin look, just hit it with a scrubby <laughs> and the story. Um, I kind of, the scrubby is easy to do. I kind of want to say, keep it polished because it, it's hard. So even in production with frets, it's still hard to polish. Like if you look, this is not polished. Come to think of it. Look, Yarrow. Oh, go overhead. See you guys, this is not polished. If you look close, that is not polished. Ma is polished. So it's two different looks. And if you don't, if you want an added texture, you guys, we can always like, like more, like you can even take your, the one that we did with this and add it. Do you know what I mean? You can always add and build your texture. Like a multi-dimensional texture. You guys can do whatever you want. I'm giving you, I have all the tools necessary to be creative. If anything, I challenge you guys to do this and show me your patterns. Why don't we do a contest? <gasps> That's it. I'm going to announce. So you guys better get ready. Go and get your $2, two buck Chuck hammers. You guys, let's do a contest and let's see whoever is a texture and we'll do like a voting contest too. You know what I mean? Let's make it fair. Um, uh, yeah, public vote, but I'll still have the last word, you know. Um, but <laughs> Yaro. So show show me your textures. Show me your hammer. That's gonna be Jolie got up. <laughs> Jolie's like, what mom, mom, what? Yes, show me your hammers. Let's see the textures that you come up with. You like that? You like it? How fun. I'm excited too, you guys. Yes, so 
Hi, you know, you guys, there's so many. Hi, Linda, thank you. There's so many ideas you can do. There's so many cool textures you can do. I could have even taken that, uh, what they called the cutoff wheel and done a bunch of thin, like, like bamboo ones. You know what I mean? Boom, 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 boom. Like the, it's endless. You guys, I can just do this all day and have a field day. Do you know what I mean? So you guys, but I'm going to leave it to you guys to see what you come up with. I gave you guys the foundation, how to prep the hammer, how to put the grooves in, how to put you know, marks in it if you want to create another texture. Do you know what I mean? I've given you all the supplies to create whatever. I gave you the ingredients. Now you guys create your own recipe. Woo! Okay, let's whack this sucker. Uh oh. Oh, two, two prizes, a crowd favorite and Ani's favorite. That's a good one, Jennifer. That's a smart one. Okay, so let's whack this sucker. So I'm going to whack it like Yaro said. Let's keep it simple. So I'm going to give it like one whack. Oh, let's film this. Okay, here you go. One or two. Okay, I'll do one first. Here, I am. Let's do this, baby. Because you're not going to post it. Right, get closer. That's good. I'm going to stop. Okay, what do you guys think? So I stopped. Where is it? So I stopped. That's the texture I got. However, some of it where it's dull is where it there's a there's a mark on my hammer. You guys see that? Looks cool, but yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. It does look cool. Yeah, it does look cool. Now, if you do a bunch of them, you'll start to look like. And I didn't use the edge. I didn't round it over. I just kept it uh, centered. You guys see that? What do y'all think? However, there is something on here, you guys, and I need to polish that off. Hold on. So while you guys tell me what you think of that, let me polish what I think is a little rough. My little slippage action. <laughs> Hold on. What's happening? What? So, like, let's say that, you know, you kind of slipped. Oopsie doopsie. You know? <laughs> oh, you see? Everybody, you see? Everybody has their, their thing. The, yeah. However, I want to get rid of some of the black and the, the compound in it. So give me a second. Let me use the Jules Tool Bubble Wash. Let it just sit in there real quick. Uh huh. Let's see what we've got here. I'm looking for my brush. <laughs> the one, the same brush I keep using over. It's not, this one belongs to the spa. Oh, wow, it's gone. Oh, my heavens. Look at this, you guys. Now you understand how I cleaned up my son's tennis shoes. Look at this. Wowza, gazowza. Ooh, look at that. It's like black. Ugh. Do I have water here still? Oh, they do have water. Yep, let me rinse it with water. Let's rinse it with water. Hold on. There we go. I'm off camera. Wait, hold on. Let me do it one more time. Hold on. Okay, I need a table. Okay, here, hold on. Let me move the water over here. Let me move Wonder Woman's shirt. Excuse me, Wonder Woman's shirt. Hold on. This is what I wanted to do. 
Oh my God, this thing is so dirty. Oh yes, there we go, baby. Yeah, oh my God, it's so dirty. This is good enough. I'm not going to waste too much time on this. However, I need a towel. <laughs> I had a white towel here. No, that's the white towel I had. That looks gross. No. Yeah, this is good enough. Wow, it looks so pretty. <laughs> here. So I just polished whatever was rough. So let's whack it some more. Ready? Yara, videotape this. The camera is ready. Okay, so I'm going to hit that one that you guys said needs more. Ready? And go. Oh, I like this more. You're right. Okay. You guys like this more? I actually like this. Where are you guys? Pretty cool, huh? No, it's good night hair. You guys like this pattern? Wow. There's no one on God's green earth that has this pattern. I'm the only one. I am the only one. It looks really cool in person. You know, I do like the shine because all those like crosses really pop. I don't know if you guys can tell, but they're shiny. Thank you, Yara, for that. Wow. Wow. You guys, it looks diamond cut. In person, you guys, it looks diamond cut. More is more. Damn it. Less is a bore, people. L more is more. Less is a bore. And I got more. Listen, whatever. Much better now. Very cool. You know what? You can always add. You can't remove. Well, you can on the jewel tool, but you have to start all over. Reminds me of the tortoise shell a little. Oh, that's a good one. I never picked up on that, but you see, whatever you see, you guys, whatever, everyone will interpret your texture differently. So people who love tortoise shells will say, oh, Reminds me of a tortoise shell. I must have. You know what I mean? You don't know where this texture is going to spark something in somebody. You know, yes. Okay, everyone likes this. See? It looks diamond cutting. It really does. Wow, it's pretty, Yarrow. Yarrow is printing the names, and we're going to do the raffle. FYI. FYI. So really, you guys like it? You guys like it? You love it? You really love it? <laughs> you know how they say that? It does look cool. Cool. I'm very happy you guys like it. It, it. But do you guys see the shine still? The shine popped. Hello. Oh, they can see it, Yarrow. Trust and believe. You can see the shine. See the shine, people. There. It's really pretty. You can even whack it more. <laughs> oh, that would be an awesome birthday gift for me. Fing Carol, is it your birthday? Hi, Robin. More is more. That's right, Bobby. I'm trying to read the comments. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you. Okay, so there we go, you guys. Okay, so we, the moral of this show is, let's see what kind of hammer you're going to make. What kind of texture you're going to make. There's so, I mean, honestly, we can do a thousand different textures. Thousand. It's so fun and honest to God, it's addicting. It's like, I want to do another one. Like I want to grind that other uh, one and just keep doing them. Honest to God. Let's do that. Let's do a series of hammers and maybe that'll inspire you for our competition. 
I love how I just decide things on the show. <laughs> David goes, I didn't hear, I see that comment earlier, but Yara says, David Rowland says, you're going to see a million hammers with the hashtag, I love my Joel tool. Yeah. It does look pretty. Yara's cutting the card, so I got to stand here. No, 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 no. So there's no one texture. Oh, you're talking to the more is more queen. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't think, I. do you guys think we should put a limit on how many entries you can enter? I don't think so. Why put, why do we have to block creativity? Because you never know. You know what I mean? You can create a few different cakes, but that one cake, people are going like gaga over. Do you know what I mean? So I don't know if, I don't think I should put a limit on how many hammers you can enter. Well, 10 hammers by one person, it's still a hammer. Each hammer is individual. It's an individual design. So that's how it'll be. I, I think that's fair. What do you guys, so true, right? Okay, no limit and you have to show the hammer a, a piece of metal to show the texture. Exactly. <laughs> you yeah, just read me Nicole's message, <laughs> comment. Nicole said, Harbor Freight is gonna have a two buck chuck shortage by Sunday. Honest to God, and I'll figure out what the price is. I'm sure it'll be good. That's fair, right, Gina? I think so, too, because you can't put a limit, but I agree, D. The rule should be, I want a before shot. I'll put this. So we want a before shot of the ugly hammer, and it has to be clear. Tap your finger, make sure it's clear. We want to see that it was a crappy hammer to begin with. You can then show the polished hammer how you did it. That'll be extra bonus. <laughs> well, you know, the the... Yeah, the making of. Yeah, the process. You know, that'll always win points with the judge. <laughs> me, you know me, I love my before and afters. And then a picture of your textured hammer and the piece that you whacked it on so that we can see what it actually looks like when it's transferred, just like you saw me do. Yes, and the before and after the hammer. Okay, so we'll pu I'll put this little post up. I'll have Kristen take a look, Yara or Kristen take a look at it before I post. Yeah, yeah, on Facebook. I'll also put it on uh, Instagram. But pretty cool, huh? This is, hi, Aaron. Hello, hello, Aaron. Thank you so much. So, Aaron, before you think I'm crazy, Nicole and Beans sent me this crown and this sash that says Birthday Queen by the way on it there you go and they also sent me this amazing cute wonder woman uh tank top so of course i wear it why not you live once people you live once you know sometimes my kids say oh mom you're so extra so be it why not let's be all be extra why not who's to stop us from being extra if, if something makes you happy, don't care what other people think. Because guess what? You're happy. That's all that matters. And that will resonate in your soul, in your spirit, in your mind. There you go. Yeah. So awesome. Looking gorgeous. Happy birthday, Annie. Okay. So Yaro, I've been wanting to play with my cut off this. Yes. So you guys, I don't know. A lot of you guys have these cutting wheels. Now I have a, I have them on our website, you guys, a pack of, I don't know how many, and it comes with the mandrel already. So a set is available online of my cutting wheels and it comes with the mandrel. My mandrels are good guys. Just so you know, my mandrels come from Germany. Very well made, extreme high quality, very true, no bendy, no nothing. They're from Germany, just so you know. You're only 39, 10 times. That's right, darn it, Melanie. 
That's right. Happiest birthday to you. I love the neon. You thank you. You guys love this. So this one, if you guys didn't hear earlier, this neon sign right here is a birthday gift from Yaro and my kids. And so they surprised me with it. And I just like ah, love it. I just love it. I've always wanted this neon sign. I've always wanted it. Like every place I go to, like, you know, the cool places have these, you know, and I want it to be cool. I want to be like the cool kids. So there, that's my cool sign. I heard it's a little pricey, but oh well. Um, Jewel Tool is great, but your words of wisdom are priceless. Oh, Sue, thank you. You know, honestly, you guys, I don't plan anything I say or do on this show. It's very uncensored, Yarrow said. It's very impromptu, but whatever comes out of this mouth comes from my heart and whatever I'm feeling. So there's times where I say something and it really touches the heart of that person. Like that person needed to hear it that day. So I don't, like if I feel like saying something, I don't hold back because I don't know who that word is for. Does that make sense, you guys? You know, I'm here talking to you all, so I might as well Something flies out, and if it helps somebody, thank you, Lord. You know what I mean? That's how it works. Oh, thank you, guys. You speak from the heart with love. Yes, Jan, I do. I really do. I really do. And I won't stop myself. You know, sometimes, you know, they'll be like, why did you say that? I'm like, you know what? It came from my heart. I couldn't stop it, and it's out there. Too bad. You know what I mean? I, I All my intentions are always pure and fun and loving. They come from a place of love. So I love you guys all. I just want you to know that you are so much to me. And you know this, if you guys know me and you've reached out to me and I've talked to you, I'm the same person that you see here. And you know what I mean? I am this person. I care for you all. I do these shows. You know, I could have been just finishing up work and leaving early and having lunch with my girlfriends today. Honest to God. But I chose to work and demonstrate and finish this project and share this time with you all because you guys are so special to me, really, truly. So I feel like I'm having time with my girlfriends and my boyfriends. You know what I mean? Okay, Yara's getting the names ready, so I'm going to pull it. There you go. Thank you, Bertha. Thank you. She says she just saw the back. Thank you, Gina. Thank you, Margaret. Okay, so you guys, I'm, why am I holding this stuff? Like, uh, like I'm the, oh, there you go. This is what the queen does. This is what a jewel tool queen does. She takes her shiny textured piece she just made and goes like this. And then you wave and you say, ha ha. You don't have this texture. No, you don't. It's a signature piece of mine because it's one and only. No one else has it. You can't go buy it from Rio. You can't buy it from anyone else. Mine and only mine, baby. I'm excited because guess what is here? You guys can see me roll it because Yara's got control of the cameras. Not like last week. <laughs> last week, Yara, I went like this. Because we didn't know how to unlock the camera. And, you know, the girls were kind of scared because they didn't want to really mess with anything and break anything because Yara would be like. <coughs> oh, <laughs> that's the Miss America wave. Is it the Miss America wave? I don't know. I love it. Uh, who said, wait, wait, there's something funny. Oh, my God, I'm laughing. You're cracking me up. Uh, you need to be, uh, your face needs to be on coins. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> I look like I'm some kind of the queen. Oh, my God, Yara, please Photoshop me on something with this piece. Okay, so we're ready for the drawing. <laughs> oh, two more names. Two more names. Who are these two more names? We're not going to tell you, but there's two more. Yarrow, Yarrow is, you don't know, Yarrow is like eagle eyes. 
so eagle eye. Did I ever tell you, you guys got to hear this story real quick? It's really quick. Yarrow is so detail oriented. Like you don't understand. So the first weekend I met Yarrow in Montreal, we were just hanging out as friends just to go hang out. He was going to show me around Montreal. So I said, oh my God, I really don't have much of anything to wear. I came for a jewelry show. So I rummaged through my suitcase and I'm like, oh, I have a cute little white skirt and a little white tank top. And I'll pair it with like bright yellow um, neon heels. That time it was cool to wear bright colored heels. And I'm like, I'm going to look so good. <laughs> so Yara's like, okay, he comes and picks me up. And Yara, like, remember, we're just friends. So I go. And I'm like, okay, let me grab my purse. And then he looks at me and he goes, um, and I'm like, what's wrong with me? You know? And he goes, um, you know, that white skirt doesn't really match with that white top. And I'm like, listen, like he knew the different tones of the white were not an exact match and you tell this to a girl that you just met <laughs> promise you guys and i'm like dude i didn't have a whole wardrobe i just came here for a show this is all that i had it was so funny so till this day we have this inside joke that mm, doesn't really match those two so i thought that's funny yara says that's why the stone saw is taking a little longer just so you know, whatever comes out of Jewel Tool, under the, oh, you've got more? Got two more, guys. Okay. All right. Here it goes. We're good? Good luck to everybody. This is for, you're going to win the $25 Jewel Tool gift card. Okay, here it goes. Yeah, you're going to email it. We're going to email you the code. I love this, you guys. I get it because blacks don't match either. Exactly, Susan. You know how hard it is to match a white? Really hard to match a white. And this little sucker is telling me my white. Oh, Margaret says, always marry someone who will be honest with you and have your best interests at heart. It's true. But at that one moment, I thought I was looking, I thought I was looking fly, like, woo, I'm looking so hot. And then he comes and just put a pin in it. I'm like, all right, all right, let's just get out of here, buddy. Okay, so Yara, let me show rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Okay, let me open this sucker. Oh, hold on, Yaro. This one's static. One last spin. Okay, that's cool. What? Okay, I'll get it with my hand. Okay, hold on. Looking away, looking away, looking away now. Looking away, look away, look away now. I just like to pile them up. You know me, you guys. I have my, I have my. I got something. Who's this? Who's this? I can't see. Susan Kemp Jones! Congratulations, Susan. You know, Susan, I'm I'm just happy. I really am happy. Before I went on the live, literally not even one minute before I went live, really, I actually read such a beautiful message from Susan. And she actually, it's a, it's a comment from yesterday's post. And you said the most sweetest thing about, you know, one of God's beauty, uh, be beauty, what did they call them? The, oh, not the beauties, the beauties. Oh, good person, why can't it? Shut up. Okay, Yara. Anyways, she, she just, she just said such beautiful words of encouragement. And so, I thought I, and it touched my heart right before I went on the live. So this is crazy that I was to pull your name, Susan. So thank you for the blessings and you got blessed back. 
you know, you guys, that's the thing. She spoke blessings in her comment. Look, I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it. She really did. She sp spoke such beautiful blessings in her comment. And I received them and I was so touched. And I literally got goosebumps as I was reading them. So see, Susan, this is how life works. In life, you bless others and you will be blessed. So take this blessing, my dear, and congratulations. And thank you. Oh, you guys are all a blessing to me. But I'm just saying, maybe this was a message for somebody. You know what I mean? So you don't know what when you give what you're going to receive. So just keep an open heart, a giving and generous heart. You know, it didn't cost her anything to say nice words to me. It was free. But in turn, she actually got something monetary. <laughs> you know what I mean? So be, you know, they always say, be kind to one another, you know, that saying, but it's true, but it's just not kind, but show your love and kindness towards everybody. And you guys do, I don't even have to tell you, you guys are so full of love and so full of kindness. It just, sometimes my heart overfloweth, honest to God, you guys are a, like, we're such a good bunch we're so good. I love our community. I love us. We're like the best of the best. Sorry. Sorry. I don't mean to boast, but we truly are. And I love you all. Yara, Yara says, as soon as we can get out of this COVID, we should do a jewelcation. Ooh, ooh. Oh yeah. On the beach somewhere. Have a wonderful weekend, my bra. What would you say, Yara? Yes. Congratulations. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Thank you guys. So you guys, so tomorrow, so tomorrow I will be celebrating my birthday. Um, wish me luck because, so I have two events going on tomorrow, but I will try to post and take pictures of the, what we're doing. So tomorrow we're going, so tomorrow I'm going to go to have lunch. I like, I don't like dinner celebrations. I'm more of a daytime like enjoyer, if that makes sense. I like lunch and brunch and I like the ocean. So fingers crossed, you guys, I chose a hotel that has a restaurant that overlooks um, the ocean and hopefully they'll give me a nice table and um, it, it'll be nice. So yeah, who, what? Yeah, so I'll probably post a lot of stories on Instagram. So if you're following me on Instagram, you'll see my whole day. Um, oh, you're welcome, Dawn. Anything, you guys, in happy birthday. Uh, enjoy the heck out of your day. I'm going to enjoy the heck out of my day. And you know what? I'm going to enjoy the heck out of the whole year, darn it. Let's think ahead. And you too. You know, it's not one day, guys. It, it, it Just keep it going. Just keep that feeling of feeling special that you were chosen. You were made for greatness. You know, it's your day. And just keep that mentality every day, not just one day, but that one birthday that comes along. Let it be a reminder to you that you are just as unique as this hammer texture. God didn't create another hammer texture. <laughs> he created you to be just as unique as these textures we're creating. So remember that you are unique, you are loved, and you deserve to be celebrated every single day. And with that, you guys, I send you all my love. Don't let good enough be good enough. You were made for more. I love you all. Oh my God, I got goosebumps. I'm just saying this because I truly mean it. So you guys hope you have a wonderful weekend. Happy birthday. I love you. I claim the whole month of July and it annoys Dave. Claim it, baby. Claim everything. Claim every day as your special day because you are special. I love you and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.